All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is not an adventure video. Today's video is going to be a review of shelf to table. Kathy sent me some uh, goodies to try out, and we're going to do that today at my favorite spot here at Horseshoe. Follow along. All right, welcome back. So today was a moving day for me. I was at Louis Lake this morning when I got up and it was raining, packed up, and I came up here to Horseshoe to finish out my uh, adventure before I got to head home here in a few days. So today I moved, got here, and I was so elated to get my favorite site here at Horseshoe. And I know some of you are gonna say, that site is your favorite site yes it is i stayed on almost every site up here at horseshoe and for some reason i don't know why this site is the site that when i come around that corner over here and i see nobody here i'm elated i just i'm so happy that nobody's here because i like this site it gives me the best solar on this site i don't have to worry about running a generator at all to help my batteries it happens when i'm in tree cover but today I am soaking up all the sun in the afternoon. Right now my uh, my solar is running, pulling in about 13 watts. My shower bucket, I uh, there's a artesian well across the road here, right down here, and I got water out of there when I got here. It was about noon. It was still sprinkling here, and. Uh, it was 48 degrees that water was and right now it's been sitting here for about three hours and it is 62 degrees now so it's gone up a little bit and i also have my jackery over here that i use to charge my uh cameras and my phone and right now uh, let's see that's pulling in 50 watts and we're up to 83 percent on these solar panels here and I'm even got my little survival frog light out here. And that's soaking up the sun. So it's going to be dinner time here shortly. And I'm glad the sun came out. But uh, yeah, I can't figure out why. Of all the sites up here, there's sites on the water. And there's sites over in the... You got nice shaded sites down here. But this site right here... You know, there's nothing special about this site, but I've always liked this site right here. Don't ask me why, but this is my home. I come up here, and I, after I set up my camp, my camper right here, just like everything's so calm and peaceful. Yeah, there's a road right there, but you only get a car about here eh, about every 30, 40 minutes, which isn't too bad. So tonight's dinner that Kathy sent me from Shelf to Table. We're going to have some freeze-dried macaroni and cheese. I haven't had this yet. And freeze-dried meatloaf. Have you ever heard of such a thing? She comes up with some amazing things. I have yet to be disappointed. So we're going to try this out tonight for dinner. See how it goes. It is getting to be dinner time, so I'm getting ready to make up my freeze-dried macaroni and cheese from shelf to table and this one I'm kind of curious about meatloaf from shelf to table now Kathy sent these to me to try out I've just heated up my water so here we go the directions on this one is to remove and discard oxygen absorber I already have done that um, add a half a cup of boiling water stir and seal for 15 minutes so i look through the camper i don't have a half a cup but i have a quarter cup and if my math doesn't fail me because it's not common and it's not core two quarters equal a half so let's 
let's put the water in. Let's see if we can get a good quarter cup here. There's one. Do it that way. There's two. Now let me take a look at this and see if there's enough water in there. Looks like it is. Yeah. Looks like it is. So I'm going to seal this up. And I'm going to kind of shake it all about here. And let that set. Now this one here is the uh, meatloaf. And it says add enough hot water to cover the beef for 15 minutes. That's what the meatloaf looks like in there. So we're going to check this out. I'm kind of, I'm really curious on this one. This one here I'm going to pour over here. So I added enough hot water. I hope. I think so. I think I added probably more than enough. It does say if you add too much you can just drain it off. So now I'm going to uh, stir this one up. And you know what I did on the, uh, the ham? I let the ham sit on its side. And I think I'm going to let do the same with this one. I think I'm going to set that one there. Then halfway through, flip it around. I think that will work pretty well. In the meantime, since it's almost 6 o'clock here now at night, I'm going to check to see how my solar did today. So right here is my... Uh, camper panels and we are currently sitting at 12.8 volts this is my shower and we are up to oh wow 76 degrees on that now that started that was 48 and that was about probably one o'clock this afternoon so it's been what four hours five hours sitting there in the sun and it's taken it from 48 degrees to just about 76 degrees there and then over here in the truck I have my Jackery solar panels and how's my Jackery doing over here oh my Jackery is at 99 percent we're at pulling in four watts because I think we got some shadows on the panel but that's how I do it here that shower is going to be pretty good tonight I hope so. I got to shave too. It's it's been well. How many days have I been out? Five days. I've been out, out and about hiking, and paddling, and it's been fun. And now I got finishing out my week up here at Horseshoe. I can't beat that. I just this is just my favorite spot, and I know people won't understand why this spot here is my favorite spot. It is. So we're going to wait another 12 minutes or so, see how this meal turns out. Okay, we've given it 15 minutes for the meatloaf and the mac and cheese. My dinner tonight, I, I'm, I'm really curious about this meatloaf. But let's see how we did. Right, let's start with the mac and cheese. Oh, look at that. Look at that in there. Let's dump this out. Oh, look at that. That amount of water was perfect. It is not runny at all. So we're going to try that. And this is the one that has me really curious. Ooh, there it is. And I'm just going to pull these out instead of draining the water off. There's one. There's two. So there it is. Mac and cheese and meatloaf. Alright, first mac and cheese. Yeah. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. I haven't had some in a long time. But it tastes like, it tastes just like the macaroni and cheese you used to have as a kid. Um, Kraft mac and cheese, yeah, tastes very similar to it. It's good. It's good. 
Now the one I'm curious about is this meatloaf. I really am curious. It smells just like meatloaf. Just like meatloaf. I don't know what I was expecting, really. And that's good. It's very good. <laughs> I'm amazed. Now, do you see Mountain House make meals like this? Meatloaf? I don't know. They might have a mac and cheese, but I don't think they have a meatloaf. Kathy, you did it again. Absolutely awesome. Mmm. Another good dinner. It really is. So, if you're interested, camp food, emergency preparedness food, let me swallow this. Camp food, hiking, paddling, or just to have in your house for emergency food, this is awesome. Heat up some water, rejuvenates it in 15 minutes. If you're interested, go to shelfthetable.com, use my code ADK10, and you get 10% off. And I'm telling you, she's a small company. She's going against giants like Legacy Foods and Mountain House Foods. But he's putting out food like this, she's going to win. She's going to win. Kathy, you did it again. Good job. Shelf to table. Use my code ADK10 when you order. You won't regret it. This stuff is awesome. I'm going to finish this up. While you guys get online, pull up the website. Fruits, vegetables, meats, snacks. It's all there. Go order. Shelftotable.com. Don't forget my code ADK10. All right, folks, you watched all the way through. Thanks for that. If you liked the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button down below. Continue to follow the adventure. And remember, folks, tomorrow is no guarantee for any one of us. So disconnect from that Wi-Fi. Connect to this out here. You won't be disappointed.